Hello, I'm Azai. Welcome back to Kichiko Rants. Today I'm actually recording quite late. It's about 8.40 p.m. I was just waiting till, like, uh, so if you guys don't know, I usually buy some bread, like, at 50% off during the night. But for some reason, when I was waiting for them to get on sale, they weren't, like, going on sale. So... I waited for nothing basically and had to buy everything like full price. If you guys have a local bakery or some sort of bakery near you, I do recommend checking them out at night because that's when they're going to be on sale and you know, going rid of the inventory. But yeah, last time we finished off Kichikuo, we got near the AL church, we got Elizabeth Des, and after that, let me do a short recap, we got Diphtheria, Osaka, or not Osaka, Japan is having war with us, because we also got Portugal, and yeah, I think that's about it. Let's actually load the game, and skip the beginning of turn here. The beginning of turn was just the Harain like turn. So first things first, let's actually talk to people. We who haven't we talked to? We haven't talked to Not sure actually. I guess we can talk to Mill. Hmm. Maybe I'll meet with Millie. Okay, this is Millie, not Mill, sorry. Lisa's castle, audience room. Rance called Millie. Is that how you talk to a king? What relationship? Oh, yeah. Listen up, Millie. This is my country. Don't lay a hand on any girls. All the women here belong to me. What? Then you've already... There's no way I can believe you've only done a few. How many? Millie is uh, bisexual, in case you guys don't know. You start counting from five? Whatever. Enough. Man, I can't let my guard down with you. Shut up. Shut up. In any case, no more touching my women. Got that? What? No, shut up. Shut up. Ah, I gotta love Rance, man. You didn't listen to a thing I said, did you? Hey, wait. Millie laughed and left. Damn her. I have to be careful. Alright, let's check who... I'm gonna add new troops to Seoul, I guess, so that she doesn't die. Because uh, her troops are pretty cheap, but she's also pretty weak, right? Let me also check about the levels here. Satila is at 88, so she might be using the popularity staff. Millie's 33. Haven't really used Ron. Shizuka's 28. Maria's 30. Melfi's just leveled up. Gengoro 20. Mana 22. 76. Hare needs two more battles. Cordoba's at 94. Gotta make sure to pay attention to Cordoba. Since, uh... His is pretty easy to level up. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on Satala. Let's see. Popularity staff. Equip it to Satala. Hirami Lemon. The Hirami Lemon is still good. We need to get to Hellman territory somewhere because there's a dungeon that will make us able to get Hirami Lemons once. One Hirami Lemon is used up. Alright, we'll do a harem. And after that... I don't know. Let's talk to let, the AL Church first. Once we get Golwin or Gerwin, whoever his name is, yeah, Gerwin, we can attack the AL Church and try, and try to get it in one turn. Because if we don't get it in one turn, Elizabeth, along with Gerwin, will defect. 
because at the end of, at the start of the turn the AL church is gonna like uh, mess up with a lot of our units and stuff like that so yeah go to the AL church first and see if we can get girl in Kawana Kajima AL church HQ guest room France was speaking with Pope Mal Mulalalo hmm what's that mean Use them? You want us to fight alongside them on the battlefield? Are they strong? That's good. I'll borrow them then. Nice. We don't even get a scene with him, but I think we got Gerwin. But I think we might have need to wait one turn because he's not in our, like, subordinate list yet. So... Let's attack someplace else today. Maybe like this place, Sudori 13, because we want to get to Patton, right? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's do a harem real quick. Let's probably do Elizabeth since this, she's the new one. A gift. The AL Church gave her to me as a present. I don't really get why, but her religious teachings mean she'll do anything sexual for me. Lisa's castle, Francis' bedroom. Rance was frowning while he thought to himself. Alright. He slapped his knees. Somebody, call Elizabeth. Rance waited for Elizabeth. Then... Mm-hmm. Whatever. Get on over here. Elizabeth kneeled at Rance's feet. You can sit on the bed if you like. I see. I like it better if you can calm down then. By the way, you said before you came here that you needed to contact home. Have you already settled that? Before you came here. She's got quite a family. Well, that's fine. As long as she lets me do her. <laughs> I see, I see. You're cute, Elizabeth. I actually feel like my gahaha is a bit different from Rance 9. But at some point, I'm gonna get used to it again. Adaptability, baby. So you know what I called you here for, then. Then let's get right to it. Patreon.com says this Elizabeth continued kneeling and reached her hands towards Rance's pants. She gently removed them. We are back, YouTube. You guys missed it, but the Pope is a fucking bastard. <laughs> he purified Elizabeth of her impurities with his holy cock, by the way. <laughs> this game, man. Having gotten her clothes back in order, Elizabeth bowed deeply to Rance. Yeah, no problem. Elizabeth bowed deeply again and left Rance's room. Thanks for the XP, ex Elizabeth. Let me check Elizabeth real quick. Not sure what I need to do to get her fortune ending. But I think once we actually get her into the harem, she doesn't get her fortune ending. I mean, I don't particularly care. Oh no, it's actually... The fortune ending is actually recruit Elizabeth into the harem. Interesting. The misfortune ending is conquering the AL church without getting her into the harem. Okay. That's actually quite interesting. Okay, we're going to attack Sudori 13. Hopefully we can attack it in one shot. I also need to get Mill to the uncursed dungeon. But alright. I guess what I can do is give the safety bonsai to Mill right now. So that she doesn't get, you know, attacked during her way there. Okay, new ninja maneuver. Use Konami. Hopefully she doesn't get, uh, you know, attacked. Sabotage. Come on, Konami! Man, Konami sucks as a ninja. I'm not sure if you can actually get, uh, who do you call it? Get, uh... I'm actually gonna use Malfi's and Shizuka here. 
Because they're probably a lot more useful. Maybe even Satella, actually. Satella can't die. So there's no risk of her actually dying. I don't think I need to use Melfi's too much because uh, she's not that strong anymore once her... Um... Oh, crap. Satella refused to fight. Okay. Damn it, Satella. Fine. I guess I'll put... I don't know if Ron... Oh, Ron is front and back. Okay, you can actually see where they can attack there. I actually just realized that. Wow. I must really suck at this game. <laughs> that, that's actually the first time I realized that. Yeah. I guess I'll put Maria. Our army advances to Dory 13. Hellman. Plant City Kozak. Hellman Fourth Army HQ. Command Room. I forgot that Nero is like this, by the way. In Rance 9, Nero is actually super, like, retarded. His design was pretty alright, but, like, he doesn't seem as serious as he is here. I don't remember if he's serious or not in this one, but he looks like a capable, capable commander, at least. The General, Nero, received a report of the Lysus Army's advance. The glasses wearing Lieutenant General Cream Ganoblade appeared. Okay, let me check to see Hellman real quick. And see if I can recruit this girl. It's po it's definitely possible to recruit this girl. I mean, you know, she is a girl after all. Defeat her in battle while fighting Hellman and choose to make her your subordinate. Note that if you fight her in Nero's unit three times without either killing Nero or capturing her, she will die. Oh, shit. Okay. Nero brushed away the bunch of documents Cream presented to him without giving them a look. The plan Cream had prepared fluttered through the air and fell to the floor. Okay, so he is still as stupid as he is in Rance 9. His design just looks a lot cooler in this one. Because it looks like he's calm and collected, right? On the redesign, it's clearly like he's super gaudy and like a narcissist. Nero spat out those words while he refined his chivalrous pl just plan. Okay, it's a city battle. Okay, there's Nero. Why is he like... Huh. Without either killing Nero or capturing her. Fight her and Nero's unit three times, so I actually have to kill Nero. Thankfully, I have mages in the back line. So I can slowly whittle them down. These guys have a shit ton of HP though. But shouldn't be too much of an issue. Varus and Rick should be able to handle all of them. Yeah, especially those guys. Those guys are actually using monsters. Okay, if we have four turns, we should be able to kill Nero quite easily. Freaking Barris is such a beast. Keep attacking Barris, please. Yeah, that guy's a mo- Ah, oh, only two- two turns. Okay, that was easy, though. So we got that area. That was also the first time we fought. So I gotta keep track of how many times I actually attack, right? Let me see here. So if I get Padden, I'm not gonna be able to get Rolex. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get Rolex. To get this girl, I just need to beat her up. I'm trying to look at the 
fifth army right now. But alright. Before we do we end our turn, we need to go to the uncursed dungeon and go with Mill. Alright, Mill. The previously discovered muddy yellow fountain was there. The fountain of growth. Merum frantically returned to her allies. Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? Huh? How do you get Mill to actually go into the fountain? What? I'm confused now. This is weird. Okay, this is actually weird. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Uh, let me check her real quick. Mill Yorks, Mill Yorks. Bring Merim to the 27, second to last, not floor. Merim will discover. Bring both Merim to the same floor and Mill will automatically enter the spring. Okay, so I have to descend and then ascend again? I think. Don't need to enter it. Maybe they're thinking... Or oh, she's saying new stuff, actually. Huh? What? I'm confused. Bring both Merim and Mill to the same floor. And Mill will automatically enter the spring and become an adult. Oh, this event can't occur when Asuka is still pestering Mill about her phantom beast. Fuck! I actually got that level- I actually got that stupid- Ah, fuck! I actually got that stupid event! Freaking Asuka! Oh man, I gotta kill her off or something. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Wait, she's our, She's not even in the party because she's pestering Mill right now. Fuck you, Asuka! Wow! That's annoying! Ah! <sighs> I guess I'll check out a different, like, dungeon on the next turn. That was so dumb! Fuck you, Asuka. Osaka Castle, Kohime's room. Ko woke up with a sharp gas and jumped up from the floor. A voice came from beyond the door. If Ko had shouted a bit louder, they would likely have jumped into the room. After some hesitation, the nanny standing behind the sliding door whispered. Ko's simple yet bitter answer brought Nagatsune to silence again. Yeah, she's dreaming about, I believe, uh... What that what's that snake called? Orochi. Ko sighed and calmed down. Ko looked at the shadow beyond the sliding door and smiled. Ko watched the shadow disappear. I think she gets her good ending if you beat up Orochi. I probably will try to beat, her, beat Orochi up, but... If it's just like Sengoku Rance, it's going to be quite difficult. I actually never beat him in the first playthrough that I did of this game, like... What, seven years ago? Maybe more? Hellman, capital, Lang Bao. There was a knock at Sheila's door. Sheila responded. She sounded like she was in pain. Stessel's cold yet somehow sharp gaze was upon Sheila. He locked the door behind him. Stessel slowly approached Sheila. Through her pain, Sheila managed to shake her head and slowly stand up from her chair. Sheila found herself hugged tightly against Stessel's chest in an instant. Man, you are so creepy, Stessel. Stessel brought his lips to Sheila's ear and breathed hot breath on it as he whispered.
Sheila gazed at Stessel with a sad, troubled face. Stessel slowly took out the thing Sheila desired. Okay, I should be able to show you guys this. It's not too bad yet. But if you get too long, Sheila will become dependent on the drug. Just like what happened in Sheila's bad ending in Rance 9. Sheila stared at the needle of the syringe Stessel was holding with wet eyes. You know, what I kind of dislike about Rance 9 is that... It's mostly a linear story, right? I kind of like this game and Son Sengoku Rants because it's not linear. What you do actually influences what happened to the characters around you. Like, I say that Sheila is going to get a, a bad ending if we get it, get her too late, get to Langbao too late. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the game ends. It just means that, yeah, she's fucked. She's dead. She can't live without the drug anymore. But the game still continues. While in, you know, Rance 9, if Sheila's dead, it's just a game over. So, I kind of like these strategy games where... Then again, like, Rance wouldn't be able to... <laughs> it's not really a Rance game if he lets people die, right? Or especially women. But it w it's just a lot more interesting in that way. Stessel laughed like he was truly happy and slowly took Sheila's arm. Sheila grimaced at the feeling of the cold needle entering her skin. Then, her ecstasy-filled eyes slowly peeked through her white eyelids. Stessel put his finger on Sheila's chin and drew her intoxicated face towards him. Wait, so at this point, I guess they were already having sex. Wow, this guy is super creepy. The intelligence disappeared from Stessel's eyes, and they become those of a simple man. The eyes of a beast with a mate before it. Stessel could feel lust but for nobody but Sheila. Only his daughter, who inherited his own beloved genes. Am I going to have to censor this? Stessel picked up Sheila and laid her down in the bed. I don't think this is a bad ending yet. I mean, I haven't even started like fighting them that for that long, right? Stessel's cock hardened. He rubbed it against Sheila's pussy and hung her o hung over her. Thank God the CG at least doesn't change. Hellman, Pattern Army HQ. The point of, on the map Freak was pointing to was Parnas. So, if we get Aristolus, we won't be able to get Stessel, or not Stessel, Patton. And if we get Aristolus, we're not gonna be able to get Sheila into our harem. Because freaking, like, Aristolus is gonna steal, us, steal her from us. So, you guys know what choice I'm making. But yeah, Patton doesn't look as beefy as he is right in Rance 9 because uh, he hasn't gone through the Mage Rebellion yet in Zeth. Because he was really training hard during that time. Hellman, Parnas. Okay, let me check how to actually get to... Get to pattern here real quick. Let's see. Ally with pattern by attacking one of pattern's territories while Rick is still alive, and then choose to accept. Oh, I need to attack their army. Okay. Allying with pattern will recruit pattern, hunty, freak, and Hubert. But is mutually exclusive with Rolex and Aristolus. Yep. I mean, I kind of knew about Rolex, but or Aristolus. But yeah, the only way for you to get Rolex is with. Aristolis.
is pretty decent. Wow, that, those guys gave up after just one attack. The pattern army conquered the planned city of Parnas. Alright, we just need Cordoba here. Yeah, Cordoba is the only one we need. I don't think I need to level up anyone else. I could put Minot or Kincaid. But that's like risking stuff that I don't really need. Ah, fuck it. I guess it's fine. And I'll put these guys in the back line. For not really support, but just to get some EXP. I need to... Prog oh my god, Lelyukov is there. I need to progressively lower Lelyukov's HP here. Okay, we, we need to defend. Kincaid might get fucked if he gets hit by Lelyukov. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at how destructive Lelyukov is. You do not want to mess with this guy. Okay, good. Keep attacking keep, keep attacking Cordoba. As you can see, even when he's attacking Cordoba, he does a shit ton of damage. Okay, that's good. Next turn, that guy is going to kill himself. Oh my god, Kincaid, you got slaughtered! Okay, let's just kill him. Alright, we got some EXP. Oh my god, this is also attacked. Okay, since Osaka or, or Japan already moved, we know that they're not going to attack us. So I'm probably gonna put these three here. And I'm gonna put City Battle. Because we still get are gonna get attacked by... Um, what do you call it? The peep... Oh my god, fuck! Nero! Oh, shit. We need to... We need to go fast here. We actually need to freaking kill Nero there. One more turn until we need to beat up Nero. Shit. Before Cream dies. Shit. Okay, hopefully you attack the Lisa's castle. Come on! Freaking Camilla! This should be the last one, so... This is what I'm gonna do. Do I put Kentaro? I do need to level up Kentaro. I guess we'll do this. Yeah, it's Camilla there. Come on, Mickey, do your thing! I wish, like, uh, Mickey would do her thing. Where she just destroys... <laughs> like, uh... So the whole unit and HP that these guys have. Come on, zero damage? Two damage, that's good, Kentaro. There we go. Cascade Bow. Hornet Army Fort Standby Room. Oh man, this event is already happening? We're not gonna be able to help Silky, are we? Late at night. Twenty monsters were snoring loudly. Oh, okay. This is just Warg. No sooner had a shining drop of light appeared in the air than it materialized into a girl and a cloud-like being. It was Cableless's ally who had power over dreams, the demon Warg. Warg poked a nearby monster in the cheek. Warg put both her hands on the monster's forehead. The cloud-like being following Warg responded. She laughed innocently, but what kind of dream was she showing him? Warg's power made the Hornet's armies fight difficult. 
then some time passed. Okay, the event is not happening yet. But Freya's event should be happening soon, and I have to freaking levy to get to her. Once that event comes up, I need to actually reload the last save so that I can levy the areas. So that I don't get fucked with my, like, military power. Lisa's castle, Konami's room. Konami was reading a book by herself. Oh, this is a cute scene. Wow, that was pretty cute. Forgot that this game had these scenes, you know? Like, usually... When you play games, you, you kind of want to see the good scenes or like... The scenes that will actually progress through the game or some stuff like that. <laughs> I think I already talked to Cordoba multiple times. So that she... or so that he brought up her wife. Or his wife. So if he dies... Cordoba is going to get his wife stolen, and she's gonna be put into the harem. I don't think I will make Cordoba die, though. He's way too good. And Asuka still isn't here, that motherfucker. Okay, what do I do now? I don't think I need to talk to anyone. Yeah, Kincaid got super fucked. I'll see if I can get some more Kentaro stuff. Is he gonna get the event? Damn it, Kentaro! Man, this guy sucks. Okay, I'm just gonna keep increasing your troops for a bit. I really want Soul to be useful, but she's super low leveled. Wait, do we not have Gerwin? Oh my god, Gerwin isn't here yet. I guess I need to talk to the AL Church again. I guess that's fine. We can ally with Pat in this turn. And let's see. How do I get Sheila to... The, like, what time do I need to get to Sheila? Okay... Oh, okay. There's actually no time limit to, to get Sheila, like, um, what do you call it? Addicted to the drugs. Interesting. I thought it was possible here, but I guess not. In, <laughs> but you can actually summon her into the harem and use drugs on her. God, that is such a bastard move. I could understand why old Rance would do it though, or young Rance in this case. <laughs> Fucking Rance. Holy shit, Rance. Let's see, who should we summon in the harem though? We got Elizabeth and she already got her good ending, so we're done with her. Rebecca is also done. Shariella, she's fine. We haven't done Mickey, Millie. Maria refuses to want to have sex with us. We've done Soul. Don't think we need to do any of Leah's events yet. We can do more Harain. We also haven't done Minod and Wendy. Her event is not progressing for some reason, which annoys me. I guess we'll do Merim this time. We'll do Millie and Ron next time. Lisa's castle. Francis' bedroom. Enter. Yeah, come in, come in. Merim quietly entered. Come to think of it, she got sold to that bitch guy and suffered a lot of bad treatment from him. Some hard as an SNM. I beat bitch and had sex with her, so I'll be gentle. I'll give you special treatment and fuck you gently today. Merim smiled like she had already given up. Strange. I was planning on doing her gently, but when I look at Merim's face, it makes me want to abuse her. 
She actually has a skill that uh, makes people like target her more. It was like uh, shown in Rant's Quest Magnum. <laughs> so people bully her because she has that kind of skill. I see. I got it. She's the kind of girl that's just asking to be abused. In that case, I should abuse her. Yeah, definitely. But it'd be boring to just do that. Oh yeah, I've got something good actually. Patreon.com says Zaikyosuke. Rance took out a suitcase. <laughs> something I got as a New Year's gift. I didn't have anyone to use it on, but I'll use it exclusively on you, Merim. Now here I go. Rance leapt at Merim like a beast. And, you know, the, the numbers are like the semi-HP. That's so weird. Rance made White Bunny come. A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. For people on YouTube, yeah, I have the sensor to CG, by the way. Round 2, fight. Pink bunny snuggle without warning. So it's like uh, every point on the left side is 100. Rance made pink bunny come. I assume you have to put Rance in this dungeon to get the rewards. Because I doubt anyone else will have like Rance's endurance. A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. Round 3, fight! Red Bunny stared at Rance enthusiastically. Rance made Red Bunny come. Man, how many are there? A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. Round 4, fight! I mean, I assume I'm going to get the rewards by using Rance, but this is still insane. Orange Bunny slowly took off her bunny suit. Okay, we're still like half HP though, so... We can at least get two or three more. Rance made Orange Bunny come. A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. Round 5, fight! Green Bunny cutely bobbed her head to bow. Rance made Green Bunny come. Yeah, this might be our last one. A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. We might not be able to beat this one actually. Round 6, fight! I wonder if you can get more... I wonder if there's an end to the, like, color variance. Blue Bunny stood calmly. Okay, that girl was actually super weak. I think we can do like two more, in fact. Rance made Blue Bunny come. A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. Are you gonna do like the color of the rainbow or some shit? If so, this is gonna be the last one. Round 7, fight! Purple Bunny seemed to be really enjoying herself for some reason. We only have one, one HP left. One endurance. Rance made Purple Bunny come. This has gotta be the last- What? How? A new bunny girl appeared in front of Rance. This is our last one. We can't win this. Round 8, fight! Platinum Bunny? Platinum Bunny took a lighter out from between her cleavage and tossed it to the field behind her. Oh, so this is Lucia. Rance finally collapsed. No! You could have beaten that, Rance! How was I supposed to beat Platinum Bunny? Damn it! Exclusive girl and charge horn. We got both of the items. But I kind of want to beat the Platinum Bunny, though. Fuck! I know I'm about all about efficiency when it comes to gameplay, but... <laughs> when you're, like... When you're ridiculed like that... You were so close, Rance. How do I get more endurance, damn it? Obtain the charge horn. I gotta Google the wiki or something after this. Fuck! Rance left Peach Blossom Spring. Ah, delicious. Alright. <laughs> Exclusive nurse. Equipable increases troop recovery rate. A small mysterious nurse that always watches over a unit. It performs the helpful services of the increasing equipped unit's recovery speed. Probably gonna put that on Ron right now. Charge horn. 
Equipable, offensive capability plus one. A cool horn that makes a very nice sound. Whoever hears that sound will want to charge. That gives you attack. Assault troops. Barra's got the L sword right now. The holy sword. Lisa's holy sword. I guess I, as a frontliner, I'll put it on either Harain or Millie. I guess Harain. Oh, I do have a Gerwin. I just realized Gerwin, Gerwin's here. Okay, so I can attack uh, the AL Church right now, which I think we'll, I will do. Because next turn, I want to do something at the AL Church. So we're not going to join up with Patton yet. But I will get the AL Church today. Okay, let's take a look at Gerwin. 10 HP, so he's decently beefy. As a commander, anyway. Sadly, he doesn't have a lot of units. A man sent by the AL Church. His entire unit is made out of Alice's. Al Alice's. <laughs> That's so hard. They consider all their battles a crusade. When someone becomes their foe for even a moment, they're judged as an enemy of the church whom the Alice's a Alice's try to thoroughly destroy. Attack 11, 7 defense. Okay. Let me take a look at EXP, by the way. Cordoba. Need a couple bit more. His HP is decent right now. Hmm. Maria. I'm probably going to use Maria and Shizuka. I don't know. I need... I need a back line when Sudori 13 is attacked by Nero. Because I do want to kill Nero. Let's see. Soul is 45. She's almost... No, she's pretty far away from a level up. Varus is far away. Rick is far away. Kincaid far away. Ooh, Horain is almost leveling up. Guess I'm gonna give... The popularity staff to Horain. Alright, with that, we are going to save. And we are going to attack the AL Church. Let's begin the battle then. Make preparations, Morris. We gotta use our best units here. So, Rick, Maria, Shizuka. No, we probably want uh, Shizuka and Gengoro for the 50%. I don't know how hard this is going to be, so I want to finish them off in one go. Our army advanced to Temple ALHQ. Kawanakajima, AL Church HQ reps room. A young voice responded to the Pope. I guess these are like supposed to be the Black Knights that are in Rant's uh, Quest Magnum. Their names are definitely changed though. The opposing army wants a decisive battle in some plains away from the city. Oh, you're gonna get fucked! You're not fighting in the city? Prepare to get toasted. Gengoro, you just defend, man. Yeah, attack Boris. <laughs> just kill yourselves, you fools! These guys are done, though. They are so done. Okay, I also got to use Hall Rain. I almost forgot to use her, actually. 19 EXP. Nice. Kawa Nakajima, AL Church HQ reps room. Pope Mulalalo, a representative of God, did not currently wear his usual big smile. He was in a panic and, unable to ask God what to do, was sitting restlessly in a room.
Mulala Lo violently gripped his loose clothing to hold it up and, beha and headed to the basement. He arrived at the AL Church HQ basement's descent room. Through ga gasping breaths, Mulala Lo slowly chanted a spell. There was dancing light, then that light made a sound like a harp. Mulalalo's face contorted and wrinkled and he prostrated himself at Leda's feet. A sword was stuck deep in Mulalalo's chest. Leda had skewered him. A fountain of blood burst from Mulalalo and, and he crumbled to the floor. Meanwhile, AL Church HQ entrance. Alright then, most religious types have a lot of hidden treasure, I'm gonna go take it. Here I go! Ranscott and his troops entered the headquarters. Then they search every nook and cranny. Eventually, they search a room on the AL Church HQ's fourth floor. Cheh, this looked like a high class room so I thought there'd be some stuff in here, but not really. Rance pulled a curtain that separated this room from the Nexus side. Hmm. If I remember right, you're that guy that came to my castle that said he was rep representing the Pope. Yeah! Salbonaut clung to Rance's leg. I think this guy's name is actually the same though, Salbonaut. I hate men. Let go of me. Rance casually killed Salbonaut. Hey, Mar hey Morris. Hmm, don't know who it was, but they saved me the trouble. I don't really care. What? Did you say every city? Hmm. I got it! I just thought of something. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't have to do an event on the AL Church. We do want to choose this, by the way. <laughs> okay, let me check uh, what would happen if we suppress the riots by force. Fucking rants, man. I love this guy. Let me see. I don't think we ha anything actually happens, though, if we do that. Portugal, Toshintoshi, Lazil, Hana, Rock Earth. Why does this not tell me about Kawanakajima? Yeah, the game doesn't tell me anything about Kawanakajima. Oh well, I guess it's okay. Yeah, the game doesn't tell me what happens. I guess it's on a different, like, uh, webpage. This! Rance pointed at Sabinat's corpse. This guy represents the Pope, and he conceals his mask with a f his face with a mask. So if I wear his clothes, I'll be the Pope's representative. And then, the AL Church and all its followers will be mine. <laughs> so I'm gonna strip. Completely opposite Mars's concerns. Rance did whatever he wanted. Smells like it was clean well. Yeah, it's tight. Now just the mask. How's this? Can't tell who I am, can you? I'll be going then. The representative's room. Don't worry, I'll make this work. Rance completely disregarded Mars's concern and walked to the representative's room. He found a bunch of people associated with the church running around trying to escape. Some were praying to God, some were... Typo? Were trying to take in everything they could. There was such pandemonium that one couldn't believe they prayed to the same God. Everyone, quiet down! Rance, dressed as Salbonaut, stood on the upper deck and shouted. Surprisingly, everyone stopped. 
Wow, these guys' sprites are so bad looking. You guys know they were destined. They're like NPCs of the NPCs. <laughs> Everyone called Sabanat's name. The name of the representative of Mulalalo. Representative of God. The church's number two. Our Pope has been struck, by, struck down by the saintly King Rance for illegal activities. Rance ignored the unrest among the followers and continued. From now on, I will run the AL Church as the Pope's representative. With Lesis, of course. Okay, everyone? The followers were noisily talking to the people next to them, but... One after another fell to their knees and offered their prayers to Salbanot, Rance. The scene appeared not as one tattered by war, but with the atmosphere of a solemn church. Hmm. Guess that worked. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm hot. How could anyone wear that for such a long time? After the commotion ended, Rance and Morris were in a tent in the Lisa's camps. About what? What? Nobody's gonna doubt the representative of the representative of God. It'll be fine. Also, it's pretty fun. I could get addicted to it. I should come every, let's say, two months to shout at the followers. <laughs> Thus, Rance obtained AL Church in Kawanakajima. Okay, so do I actually have to do that? Or do I actually have to... What do you call it? Do I have to go to the AL church every two turns? Let me see. The game doesn't really tell me. Yeah, the game doesn't really tell me at all. The city-states doesn't also tell me about... Yeah, the city states doesn't tell me anything about the AL Church for some reason, too. Hmm, this is annoying. Oh, okay, there we go. At the very bottom, it tells you. At any point in the game, you may attack the AL Church, even if you have decided to continue paying them tribute. However, you cannot take them in a single week. You will suffer the same defect penalty. After the church is defeated, choosing the top option will allow you to pretend to be Sabanot, enabling additional events. Okay, so it actually doesn't make me have to do that. Okay, that's good. Let me see. Makoto, Fuka. Oh no. 414 is the deadline for Fuka. Shit. Okay, so I have to get Fuka soon. If I want to beat up Orochi. Or if I want to get her good ending, really. Okay, so we actually don't need to go to the AL Church. And we still got Gerwin and Elizabeth, which is super awesome. We can attack right now, right? Yeah, so... Next turn, we're gonna... Join up with Patton. Right now, though... I think we are... Done. We're done, right? Yeah, we should be done. I don't know who I'm gonna use the charge horn on. Oh, I said I was gonna give it to Harain, but... I need to actually level her up first. Let's see. I need to levy some pl some place, man. I really do. Let me check. Which area should I levy to get some items and stuff? Let's see. I do apologize for being like this, by the way. Like, uh, having to actually look at the guide and whatnot. And not do this, like, beforehand. The thing is, this game just has way too many- too many shit, man. It's insane. Portugal special girl room. Hmm. 
No treasure, only useful for Haniwa King on the bottom floor if you have Julia. The Honey King actually also provides two strength and service for any journal with a 25% chance. Moko Moko, Kapala Lots. Oh, we can also give Kapala Lots her money, yeah. I forgot about her. Because it's been like forever since we did this, right? The day TV. I need to get her to level 1. This should be the same scene. There you are. I hear you soared into popularity recently. Kapala looked at Rance with a mildly uneasy face. Hmm? <laughs> I guess since we already fucked Kapala, I'm gonna hear her sing for once. And then gonna give her the money. It is a new event after all. Alright, then do what only you can. Sing for me. Yeah, that's it. Get to it. Let's see. That song I heard in the Magic Vision. Uh, Angel something or other. That should be good. Sing that. Mm-hmm. Ah, <sighs> that was good. Congrats. Nice being a king. It lets me listen to idols sing in person. <laughs> Kapala smiled. Hmm. Good work. You may leave for today. Oh, that was surprisingly wholesome. Yeah? What? Mm-hmm. Leave it to me. Kapala said her goodbye to Rance and walked away from the throne. Give her 10 grand. Let me see. A serious 10kk. 10,000k. <laughs> Let's make this a grand campaign. Alright, we should get her to top 1 now. I believe. If we don't get her to top 1, we probably need to do one more of our event. But that should be good for now. Are you gonna attack me for once, Japan? So, we got 6 months until Fuka gets destroyed. Wait. 414. No. Actually, 3 months. I think it's actually in January. Fuck. Osaka Castle. Kohime's room. It was a dream Ko's been having for as long as she could remember. Ko's consciousness was subject to a fuzzy feeling. She heard the same voice she always did. It was a sometimes happy, sometimes resentful, but always frank voice. In that way, it was like a child's voice, but it was deep and calm. She's actually not seeing Orochi. I believe she's actually seeing... Um... Damn it, what's that whale's name again? I forgot his name. Fuck! I forgot it. I can't believe I forgot his name! Is the fucking continent we're living on, damn it. Ludo, there we go. Ludo Ratham. <laughs> I'm like, th the name escapes me, but I know I should know it if I dig deep enough in my memory. Ko didn't feel well and covered her mouth. Yeah, there we go, Ludo. Freaking whale. Ko woke up. She wiped the sweat off her forehead with the sleeve of her kimono. Oh god, she's doing her thing. Sweateria. Oh man, I think I, I fucked up. I think I need to levy that, that area, Prateria, huh? I guess we'll see what happens on the next turn. I might have fucked up. Shit. This is not good. This is not good at all. Cordoba alone should be enough here. I'm just gonna make him auto-defend. 
The Lyukov should not kill us, hopefully. Oh my god. Hopefully. I probably have to increase Cordoba. I have to get replenish Cordoba next turn. Holy shit. Oh, he's getting destroyed here, man. I think he's dead. Oh my god. Uh, Cordoba? That's not good. I mean, Cordoba dying means that we get her his wife. But I don't know if I want to do that because Cordoba is actually a really good unit. This is, uh... This is quite something. Hmm... I'm kinda, what do you call it, in a dilemma right now. Okay, we gotta kill Nero. Oh, fuck! I don't think we can kill... N oh, we gotta reload for sure. Yeah, we gotta reload. There's no way we can kill Nero. I fucked up. Hey, thanks, Konami. Yeah, I think I gotta reload. Fuck! We were doing so good that turn, too. I guess I don't need to use as many units as I thought I do on the fight with uh, the AL Church. Huh, for some reason, narrow the scene where, you know... The scene where Nero was supposed to kill Cream there didn't happen. Wait, how Rain didn't level up? What the hell? Man, everything is just not going my way right now. Yeah, everything is just not going my way. I guess after this, like I said, you guys uh, will be... Seeing... Like, you know, me editing the footage. Or I'm gonna have to... Pause the recording here and reload the game. That's so annoying though. Ah, oh, god damn it. Freya fucked this over for sure. This is gonna be the turn of event, isn't it? Oh no! What the Wendy? Lisa's castle, audience room. Okay. Hmm. The cookies you make are are delicious. Morris appeared before Rance while he was having a maid serve him snacks. Hey Morris, want some too? These are really good. Oh, okay. What I can do is get the wife, get her in the harem, do the harem event, and after that, I'm gonna reload. That's what I can do, because like I said, I do want Cordoba, surprisingly, because he's a very good unit in this game. Hmm. Funeral, huh? I don't know. Sounds boring. I won't go. Too much of a hassle. You do whatever thing you think is you think's appropriate. Hmm? Fururu? Oh yeah. I've heard that Cordoba's got a beautiful wife. Which means she's a widow now. Wait, Morris! I changed my mind. I'll go. More than just a representative should be at the va at my valued subordinate's funeral. Cordoba must be worried about his wife being left alone too. I have to take responsibility and love her. <laughs> Lisa's Castle Town, Cordoba's estate. With their arrangements in order, Rance and Leah visited Cordoba's estate. Here. Feels pretty eastern. Hello? The sound of footsteps pattered to the front door where Rance was standing. 
It was Cordoba's wife, Ruru. Hmm. This is for Ruru, huh? Completely wasted in Cordoba. Well, apparently she hasn't been touched yet. That means she's a virgin widow. Whoa, that's super rare. Nothing. They followed Fururu from one tatami room to another. After a while, Cordoba's funeral started. It's so unfortunate that this happened, Fururu. Cordoba was a fine man. I'm very sorry for your loss. That's what I should say. Boris muttered sadly and burned some incense. Kincaid looked meek as he burned some incense. Rick's eyes were slightly moist as he burned some incense. Without wiping the tears streaming down her face, Minod burned some incense. Wow, he's actually really liked by these guys. Harain frowned as, he, as she burned incense. Eh, how long is this gonna go on? My legs are tired. Then it became night. Many of the attendees went home. Nah, I'm gonna keep giving some final farewells to Cordova. You go back ahead of me. Leah left with her attendants, leaving Rance and Fururu alone in the tatami room. Probably, because he's got a wife like you. What are you gonna do now, Fururu? I see. I'm sure that'll make Cordoba happy. If anything happens, tell me. Cordoba told me to take care of you. Also, one more thing. I have some important business that with business that Cordoba entrusted me with just before dying. Listen. This is what Cordoba said. I'm going to die with my wife. My one regret is not being able to teach her the pleasure of a woman. <laughs> Rance is lying just like breathing to you? What the fuck is wrong with you? King Rance, in my place, please make my wife a woman. That's what he said. <laughs> a complete lie, of course, but it'll do the trick. I want to fulfill my valued subordinate's final wish. You're a virgin, right, Fururu? Then as he wished, Patreon.com says Zekiosuke. I understand that you still love Cordoba, but you regret it that you don't know the pleasure of a woman. As things are, he might remain a, as a ghost. Then leave it to me. Alright! Without revealing his true motive, Rance pushed Fururu down onto the tatami mat. Lisa's castle, before the front gate. Ah. Hey, I'm back. The king has returned. Leah personally ran out to greet Rance when he finally returned. Yeah, I thought Fururu might get lonely, so I stayed with her for a while. Here's some souvenirs for you. Got a bunch of leftover funeral manju. Some salt, too. Hey, don't sniff me. That's not- that's got nothing to do with you. Ah, I gotta love Rance. But yeah, she's actually not joining the harem. <laughs> but with that though, I am going to pause the recording here. We are gonna do one more turn. But I don't want Cordoba dying on me. So I will be back momentarily for you guys. Oh! Instead of the... Uh, I just reloaded by the way. Instead of the Konami and Minot event, Suzume's got an event. Awesome! So next turn, we can actually do Suzume's event. He saw Suzume. Next to her was a man wearing a black military uniform. They were talking to each other. So instead of talking to Mill, I guess I can talk to Boris to get this guy.
I don't know why there's no OST, by the way. This is really awkward. Suzume's father hurried past the tree Rance was hiding behind and ran off. So that was his, her dad. Suzume, too, stealthily walked towards the castle. Hmm. What a shitty dad. I feel pretty bad for Suzume. Nice, so we can talk to Boris here. Hmm, maybe I'll meet with Boris. Lisa's castle, audience room. Is there a man named Hayate Kato in your army? That man is scum. Kill him. Boris, you should know your subordinates, moron. Hayate Kato sells his daughter for his own benefit. I hate people like that, so kill him. Deal with him soon. If you don't, I'll consider you incompetent and deal with you myself. Hayate Kato was banished from the Lisa's army that day. Nice. I guess might as well show you guys the scene with Suzume now, right? So that next turn we can do something else. Damn, we're gonna be ha getting like so many harm scenes. Hmm, maybe I'm not gonna do like one more turn. I'm gonna just redo the turn and then the start of the next turn I'm gonna end the episode. This is already an hour and 30 minutes. It's gonna be way too long if I do another turn. So this is going to be the last scene before, you know, the start of the turn scene and we ending the episode. Lisa's castle, Rance's bedroom. Rance called Suzume. Hey, don't leave your skirt yet. I want to talk. Have you cheered up at all? Now that your d stupid dad's gone, there's nobody to give you ridiculous orders. You're not bound to anybody. Have some peace of mind. Only look at me and work for me. Because I need you, obviously. Well, there's that. And also, this. Patreon.com says Rance pushed against his fluffy bed as he spoke. Okay, not yet. I really like how you make the bed. It's the best. You're really attentive to the details. That's the first time I've seen you laugh. Good. Alright. Let's fuck. Come. Ah, now we are done with Suzume's event. That was pretty good. But alright. With that, I will see you guys on the start of turn event. Okay? Okay, we are ba back. And this time Japan actually attacked us. So I am going to intercept um, with just Mickey. <laughs> Mickey is actually unkillable, by the way, so. Except by demons, I believe. So this is like uh, really useful for her. Yamato Akechi. Let's actually try to weaken Nobunaga Oda's, uh, like, um, team. But yeah, it's impossible for, like, uh, Mickey to actually die. Because look at how much HP she has. <laughs> I hope we actually, like, do, like, the damage that she's supposed to do. I don't remember, like, what's the chance to get that damage. God damn it, Mickey. But she becomes broken if she can just do that damage. This would have been a really tough fight, by the way. If you take a look, they actually have archers, too. God damn it, Mickey didn't do it. I guess that's fine, though. The thing is, though, the turn of event is going to be different this time, but Freya is going to still attack us. I decided to levy the Preteria area instead of doing the Nadate TV one. And yeah, it's not working. I think before I end, or I'll probably end the recording session, but before I end for the day, I'll probably try to levy and see if I can find Freya.
Because I believe if this happens like multiple times, we are there's no way we're gonna be able to do like anything, sadly. Okay, so we're using Cordoba here, along with I guess I guess we can use Gerwin, but he's not that good. We'll probably put Kincaid. And Kincaid's just gonna defend, I guess. Hopefully he survives. I also like boosted up Cordoba's um, units again, as you can see. So these guys are both gonna go full defensive. Oh my god, Kincaid! Don't die! Kincaid! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bakana, he said. Kincaid is so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Couldn't even become a freaking meat shield, Kincaid. What the fuck? This is not going as good as I thought. Cordoba is also still like getting destroyed here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do I want to reload again? I don't think I do. It's actually like chance that we got Suzume's event. So I don't think I want to reload for Kincaid. He's not actually that good, too. Alright, on this one, I'll put like Rick and Millie. And on the back line, Shizuka. And either Maria or Ron. I guess Maria. Hmm, maybe not. Let's see. Rick, Gengoro. And then Maria and Shizuka. Gengoro is just gonna defend. But I really want to kill off Nero. That's the thing. There we go. Plus 50%. Oh my god. Do I need to kill Nero or Cream? I decided to check how to win um, on the Be Be Peach Blossom Paradise thing, by the way. And it seems it's just random if you put Rance there. And I didn't win again, sadly. Okay, where is Cream? Give me a second. Not Isoroku. Where are you, Cream? Where are you? Cream, Cream, Cream. Defeat her in battle while fighting Hellman and choose to make her your subordinate. Note that if you fight her and Nero's unit three times without either killing Nero or capturing her, she will die. So I do have to finish off... I think I, I need to fi finish off Nero first and then I gotta... Like, uh, capture Cream. But for sure, what I have to do is kill Nero so that she doesn't die. Yeah, there we go. Alright. You're just gonna go auto defend him. You're also defending Rick. Okay, they're fine. Yeah, they're actually pretty weak. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Nero. There we go. Plant City Kozak, Hellman Fourth Army HQ. Cream was sitting in front of the general's desk, staring closely at a map. Cream had, as a lieutenant general, inherited General Nero's position after he was gone. I don't know why there's no BGM here. <laughs> While it was only temporary, Nero's death gave Cream full control of the Fort Army. She was brimming with motivation. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna reload for Kincaid. Sorry, Kincaid. <laughs> very sorry, man. Very, very sorry. We're gonna try to level up Minot, I guess. I'll put Kentaro in the back, maybe. Mmm, Mill. If we fight against, like, La Cezel, I think you're gonna die, so... I'm not gonna put you in the back. I guess I'll put Malfi's in the back. Oh, what the? 
Nice, that's pretty good. Yeah, see, La Sazel, I don't want her to fight this guy. Or this girl. She doesn't do that much, though, to be completely honest. You do zero damage, Konami, because she's a freaking apostle. Or what do you call her? I forgot what the what the localization says about these these guys again. Demons? Okay, time to see what happens when Freya fucks this up. Oh, this is the Manazi, you know. Okay, we're we're not seeing the repercussions of like the scene yet. But with that though, I am going to end the episode right here. Next time we are gonna be I guess we're gonna be taking over Japan. Or no, we're gonna go get Patton first and then we're gonna go get Japan. But yeah, I need to actually levy my party and find Freya. But with that though. This is where we're gonna end the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a like if you guys like it. Sub if you guys haven't. Patreon will be getting these episodes early access along with, you know, the eight scenes uncensored. But yeah, I am in the groove of playing this game again. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.